What I'm going to show you here is how to play Angry Birds with a switch. So we have two switch step scanning set up here in this setup. Um, once you actually get into Angry Birds, because um, the hotspots, there's no recognizable hotspots or accessibility tags within the game, the gliding cursor is going to show up, um, which will be new to some people. So I'm going to go ahead and get down there. Um, we'll go ahead and scan down. And we're going to get into Angry Birds here. Let it start up. So if you wait a second, you're going to see this cursor come across the screen. And that is the gliding cursor. Um, so what you're going to do is it lets you select an exact point within your screen. So we're going to select the play button here. And our menu comes up. So we're going to do the first one, which is tap. And now with the gliding cursor, we're only using the orange switch because that is select an item. So we'll go ahead and get down to, you'll notice that um, the cursor does get a little bit fast. Um, we do have it set to the slowest setting right now. So we'll go ahead and go into our level here. It does a little intro for us. And we're going to select to advance. And you're going to hit tap. All right, so now we're into the game, and you see the gliding cursor going across the uh, screen here. First thing we're going to do is select our bird that we're going to fire. And you don't have to get it exactly on the bird, just within the general vicinity. So now we have our menu that comes up, and what we want to do is we want to scroll over using the white switch to gestures. And what this is going to allow us to do is do a hold and drag gesture with one finger, which is going to emulate us holding and moving the bird back like this. So I'm going to scroll down with my white switch, and you can see I'm highlighted on hold and drag here. I'm going to select that. So we're going to let it go all the way across the screen and come back because we want to select back in this area here to hold and drag to. So I'm going to select it right here. looks good. And I want to get a little bit down. So right there. So now basically what it says here is hold and drag just to confirm that you want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and select it with the orange switch. And fire away our bird. So a little bit harder of a scan mode here, um, but it is possible to play games, do home automation, and use a lot of apps that, that don't have accessibility tags built into them.